Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new ASUS ROG laptop. This is ASUS ROG uh, M16 model. They do come with an iCore 9 11 Gen 900H processor. This particular one it is coming with a RTX 3060 and about 16 gig of the RAM. They do have an IPS panel with a 165Hz panel, they are really nice. And in this video I'm going to cover you up on how you can upgrade the RAM on this one. If yours is an 8 gig version or you want to pump up up to 32 gig version, they can go up to 32 with no issue. And in this video I'm going to cover up how to open it up, how to upgrade the RAM the proper way. Alright, first thing first, all you need to do is power off the laptop completely. Power it off completely, flip the laptop upside down, and I'll leave the exact model for this one on the video description. If you need to know, it's a long number, but in the basic number is a GU603H. But there's a long version in there that it gives you exactly what it comes inside. But this video applies for any, any M16 models. Alright, the tools that you're going to be needing, it's a simple screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. They do come with the, all the bits that you need. And these are hardened bits. These are Philips, uh, I mean S2 class steel bits. And we're going to be using a Philips number one from this tool set. If you want to get the pro version, they do include you with an opening tool, tweezers, stuff like that. But if you don't want to get the, the pro version for the opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers. And you will need a sharp tweezers. So find yourself a sharp tweezer. Again, this sharp, these two are included in a pro version. I'll leave the link in my video description. Anyway, down here on the bottom of the laptop, there are a few types of screws. The screws and there are three hidden screws. The first let's go over the three hidden screws. They are right in here, there and there. They are labeled with a tiny plastic on top. They have a little adhesive so all you need to do is put your tweezers underneath and lift up this cover. Put them to one side. So lift it up. Place them to one side. Now, and there are short screws and there are long screws. The short ones are in front of the laptop, the, the one in the front, and the long ones, medium ones, are the one in the back. There is one screw that will not come out entirely. That will be the one in the corner here. I do not know why, but they have a C-lock on one of the screws only. Let me know in the video comment if you, more, of the, more than one screw has a C-lock on yours, but this is brand new. We opened it from the box. So with the one with the C-lock, you just twist it until you hear that click. You're going to hear a click. That tiny click. That means the screw is all the way out, but it will not come up because there's a little secure C-lock on the bottom of the, on the other side. And we're going to proceed with removing the rest of the short screws in the front. So remove the one in here. Keep them in a different pile. Remove this one over there. Now that I remove this one, we're going to start removing the rest of the screws. Go from the side to side. Keep the long screws in one pile and the short ones in another pile. So that way you don't uh, mismatch or put the wrong one in the wrong place. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you, my video helps you guys out through your own upgrade and uh, servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribing. I really greatly appreciate it. So the long ones are from the side all the way to the back corner, all the way back to other corner is like an L shape like that, C shape. And the short ones are the front row and the three in the middle. So keep them in two different piles. Once you remove those, remember this screw will not come out, so don't try pulling this one out. Just loosen it up and leave it like that. And once you do this one here, I'm guessing the only reason they put a C-lock in there so it helps you to separate the bottom and top cover. That will be a smart move if they did it or they did it by accident probably. So we're going to take an advantage of this opening gap right here. And we're going to put the screw, the opening tool right in here. And we are going to twist it slowly 
just twisting it, going all the way to the other corner gently. Just twisting. You want to hear a click. That's all you want to hear, those clickings. And you want to do the side, left and right side. Go all the way to the back corner. And you get it open right there. Do the left. And I need to do my right. And there we go. Once we did the left and right side, and the back here is already coming out, so I'm just gonna put it in here, peel it off a little bit, gently, and that's it. Now we're gonna put a face down, and we're just gonna lift it up from this end, from the left side, bring it up, wiggle it around, and push it toward this side so you can release this end. So that's your bottom cover. Now, down here, you're gonna see the RAM right in here. Unfortunately, on this model, you pay extra premium money here, but they only give you one RAM dim. There is no two RAM dims or anything like that, so there's a one RAM dim in here. You can lift this one up and peel this aluminum. It's spreader, I guess, to one side. There is an eight gig in here, but this laptop does come with a 16 gig, so that means if I see an eight gig here, that means there's another eight gig soldered on the board on the other side of the motherboard those are soldered on the board rams so pretty much the only thing we can do here to remove this 8 gig and replace it with another 16 gig ram if you wish and to do that it's simply simply you just have to pull these two triggers apart now before i do that people always say you should remove the battery to do this process you do not actually need to remove or touch the battery to do this process it's totally safe and you don't need to but if you want to do that then simply all you need to do is to grab a plastic pick or something like that you want to pull these triggers backward a little bit just so it can move away from the jack and you want to put it under the jack and just lift up the jack upward that's how you remove the battery but and you want to put it back in align it straight on top and push it towards the motherboard and bring the lock back over about one half a millimeter it goes over and that's it but again for this process you do not need to remove the battery for those people that are paranoid go ahead and remove it now to remove the uh, ram uh, you have to pull these two triggers away from each other and the ram should come out in 45 degree angle just like that once you have the ram in 45 degree angle you want to pull it out in the same 45 degree angle just like that and now you can see the RAM dim is right there and you have the RAM. Let's say that you got the 16 gig RAM, but I don't have on my hand 16 gig. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the RAM dim. So if I try to put the RAM the other way around in there, it will not go through. Doesn't matter the, the orientation of the RAM chips, they could have on both sides or on one side, that makes no difference. All you need to worry is for the cut on the RAM. So once you have the cut aligned right there, you want to bring it down in 45 degrees towards the jack and push it towards the jack that goes all the way in. And then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you should hear a tiny clicks right on the sides, just like that. That means the RAM is in place and you can just turn on your laptop. These uh, hinges have to be straight in there. So if I try to put the RAM in a little bit the other way around, halfway through, not all the way in, the RAM clips, they're going to stay open. That means the RAM is not in place. So pretty much make sure the RAM goes all the way towards the jack and towards the motherboard. And you have these two clips open and sitting there nicely straight. All right, once you got the RAM in there, now you can grab this one or trash it or do whatever you want to. But there's a little adhesive in here. Put it right over the RAM right there on the corner and just tuck it in there. Make sure it stays there. There's no reason for this one. It doesn't actually cool down anything like that. But yeah, I'm guessing they put that one in there. So you, when you look through, you don't see the RAM. It looks nice and black. So I guess. All right, grab the bottom cover. Oh, regarding this screw right here, you can see the seal lock right on the end of the screw. So that seal lock prevents it from coming out. And this seal lock was only one of, um, one of the screws. And I'm guessing the reason is, so when you open it up, it separates the bottom case from the top case. So that's a good future. All right, so put the bottom case on top. I mean, the yeah, the bottom case right on top of the motherboard right there. And you just want to push down the corners and you want to hear those clicks start uh, 
screwing back down this screw right in the corner and that should be all. Grab the screws and put them in the right place. Remember the longest screws go from the side to side, back corner and to back. And the short ones, they go all over the rest of the laptop. And the last thing, you put the uh, three rubber covers on the middle of the screws. As always, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for your ASUS Rock laptop. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws.